start shooting up. So they shot, they start shooting um, from the first floor up. Because there's only two exits in the freshman building, so everybody started running to the other exits. So that's when the shooter and the other shooter started coming up. So everybody, and then I thank God to this teacher who opened up her door and let all of us in. She got shot in the arm trying to open the door. And then the other teacher, he got shot in the head trying to cut the other students. And um, it was like an hour, like it felt like years waiting for them. And then after all that, we finally got out and like they started yelling at us to keep focused and to pay attention ahead, the army. Because they didn't want us to see the bodies that they hid in the, the corner. They were putting mats over them so we wouldn't see them. But there was dust all over the floor from the, the, the like this weird thing they threw in there. They were trying to, so you think there was more than do you think there was more than one shooter? There was three shooters. How terrifying. Hold on one second now. How terrifying. It was pretty damn terrifying because we because they, they were pretty much the drills and we all thought this I'll was call a you drill. Right back. We thought this was a drill, but it wasn't. And then we just started hearing the gunshots. And it was really terrifying because my class, the class that I ran into, he started shooting through the door and he came through and he started shooting the cabinets and that's when he shot the teacher. And then they started and then he ran back outside to shoot the other teacher who was closing the other door for the kids. But he didn't get to close the door and he was just there. And so we were all just sushing, sushing each other, like, shut up, just suck it up if you're crying, because we're not trying to get shot. Because he was in the hallway yelling, hey, hey, trying to ta taunt us and get us to say things, trying to get us outside. And that's when some other kid, like, he ran out, because he thought it was free, but he got shot, and then we heard the groaning outside. And we couldn't do anything. Well, so the shooter, tell me, besides, hey, hey, what was he saying during He wasn't doing anything. He was legit. He just ran up the stairs, started shooting, and you could see a bunch of kids just going down that way, but stopping, but they, because the other shooter was coming. So everybody was trampling. Everybody was trampling each other, because they were like, hey, do you hear that loud, loud banging sound? And we all thought it was like some kid joking on the stairwell, because they're hollow, so you could just hit a stick and it sounds like it, but then we all were like, oh, sh this is real, so we all just started running. It was really... Now, some one student told me that the shooter was wearing a bulletproof vest and a helmet. Did you see that? I saw some other kid. He, when the other kid who came into the classroom, he was wearing some type of thing, and like I don't know, but it was like I tried. Not, I was like I froze at that moment because you never know because the gun is like pointed towards you and the thing. You don't know what to do. And you kind of just like pause and you're just like, is this actually gonna happen? But I felt like he was going after all the teachers because a bunch of teachers got shot, and then, but in, any of the kids who were in the way, they got shot. Yep, unbelievable. Make up your own mind. What do you think about these interviews?